Galaxy's Edge has been open two and a half years. And if you still haven't gone to the Savi's Workshop hand-built lightsaber experience, you might be out of luck. Last week, Disney Parks stopped giving out these Savi's Workshop lightsaber bags. Instead, you can now get one of these beautiful plastic covered slips with your $200 lightsaber. Is this temporary? Wasn't the bag factored into the price? And what is Disney's excuse for not having lightsaber bags to give to all the people going to the Savi's Workshop experience? Let's talk about that, so don't go anywhere. Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on our video. This is Finding the Force. I will be your host, ODK, also known as Obi Dad Kenobi. Hello there, everyone. Um, thank you for joining me. And if you're new here to the channel, don't be shy. Click the subscribe button. Really supports our channel. Thank you. We make videos about everything Star Wars, but especially... Boom! Lightsabers. Here I've got one of the Savi's Workshop hand-built lightsabers. My son made this uh, on one of our last trips. If you haven't seen the Savi's Workshop experience, a link to that video will be at the end of the video, so make sure to check it out. You know, it's not just a lightsaber. It's a really a immersive, fun Star Wars experience where you get to build this by hand, pick the kyber crystal, you get to hear the voice from one of the galaxy's most well-known Jedi. And for the last two and a half years, you were given this lightsaber bag, which is designed to fit with this 31 inch lightsaber blade. And it just slides right in here, like so, and boom. There's a huge long uh, foam tube here protecting the blade and an upper more flexible uh, foam part protecting the hilt. And it zip ties safe up at the top and it's adjustable. And not only is it safe, but also very easy to transport. And this is actually, have you guys seen this? The new Darth Maul Shadow Collective lightsaber with a crystal reveal. Crystal's in there. Check out the link up above. I did a full review on this saber. And even this one has a longer hilt than most of the sabers. And this fits in the bag just fine. Whoop, there we go. This bag, although it can be fun, um, I haven't really used it a lot to transport it around once I got home, but this is the most crucial part of you getting your souvenir back home. The majority of people visiting Disney parks are people who have traveled great distances to get there. And starting last week, Disney is now not giving these lightsaber bags anymore as a part of Savi's workshop experience. Instead, a flimsy plastic light, like slip, you know, very thin plastic uh, bag that has no handles on it at all. It, and all these pictures here that you see are uh, are from the Mickey blog website. I'll put a link down in the description. To so you have two options. You can either get one of these lovely plastic clear bags to put your like awesome souvenir in or pay an additional $50 for one of their special padded lightsaber bags. Oh wait, hold on. This just in. News coming out of the Disney parks that they have actually sold out of the $50 lightsaber bags. Here's a picture of, uh, of one of the guests buying one and you can see they're taking their lightsaber out of the plastic to finally put it in something safe because they've been probably waiting months or years to have this experience. Not to mention that in April of 2021, the price went up from $199 to $219. It was a $20 price increase. So now the experience with tax, you're looking at a flat $240. Tacking on another $50 bag is gonna be like $300. One of the first guests who got surprised by this plastic bag option at Savi's workshop, her name is Kate Harder. Facebook posts have been getting a lot of attention because she had a particularly bad experience with the customer service surrounding the Savi's workshop experience. So Kate and her family were a little surprised to be handed a plastic bag right at the, at the entry where there's a cash register when she was checking in. She actually paid and registered for the experience online. Immediately upon finding out about the plastic bag instead of the black, soft, protective transport case, she asked about a discount. They told her no. 
but hey, it was worth a shot, right? So she went through the experience and got out and realized that you have this two and a half pound souvenir that you have to lug around the park all day. Now, let me take a moment to show you guys this, okay? Elemental Nature lightsaber, and I have one of the Galaxy's Edge belt clips on my belt here. I'm wearing just a regular pair of jeans, got the belt clip. This is not something you're gonna wanna put on your hip for any length of time, let me tell you. And this has my favorite belt clip for lightsabers, the round cover tech wheel, which goes right into the belt clip like so. And it feels like I'm, I don't know, wearing like a, a water bottle on my hip. Can you guys see this? I'm trying to walk with this thing and it's totally pulling my belt down here. And I can feel the bottom of the belt clip starting to dig into my hip a little bit, which is kind of where those cool Jedi belts come in because you can put it on the thin outer ring of the belt. And that way it's only digging into the side of the larger belt. So you don't feel this, this bottom plastic lip here, that digging into your hip, that little sharp pin piece. So Kate asked about why, you know, why are they out of bags? And Disney's response was, they're out of stock or they're just out of inventory. Nobody said anything about this being temporary. Nobody really even apologized to her. Nobody said anything about this ending soon or that as soon as they get inventory in, they'll be restocking and they'll have bags coming in. Not even any word if bags will be coming anytime soon or if they're on their way. So it wasn't long after the experience, like less than an hour that she's walking and the lightsaber slides out of this little plastic slip and falls on the ground. Ugh. Oh no. Frustrated, she goes back to the Savi's workshop and, and speaks to another cast member and asks, please, can she get a discount for not having a, a carrying case and a damaged lightsaber? And they didn't help her at all. Then she asked to talk to a manager and the manager told her that technically the plastic bag fit under the description of a carrying case as mentioned on their website. So I feel so bad for her. She didn't get to enjoy or take the lightsaber around with her, um, spend some time with it, and kind of, you know, you kind of bond, your souvenirs remind you of your, of your fun Disney trip that you took. She didn't even get to enjoy her saber. She decided then and there, she's gonna pay the extra $18 to mail it home, and she didn't get to see it for the rest of her trip. What do you guys think? Does that plastic bag the same as this padded carrying case? Leave a comment down below, tell me what you think. So the people who left comments on our video said that they were given crystals as an apology from the manager that they were out of lightsaber bags. So they must've been at different parks, I assume, you know, whether it was Orlando or Anaheim. She asked the manager and the manager refused to give her any discount or anything in exchange for the inconvenience of not having a lightsaber bag. So Disney claims that this is what they advertise their product as being, is that you get the experience, a saber, a pin, a crystal and a carrying case to put your saber in. And they claim that that plastic bag technically qualifies as a carrying case. But I'll say it one more time that the staff never at any point said that this is going to be temporary. The manager didn't say that cases are on their way, that it will soon be a part of the experience. Hold on guys, hold on a second here. I think I'm getting some more news. I got, I got another news update. So because of all the vocal Disney guests out there at the parks, Disney is now giving a 10% discount on the experience. That like barely covers tax, but at least it's something and something that poor Kate Harder did not get, unfortunately. I really hope someone from Disney parks contacts Kate and tries to, to make up for her poor experience and still keep her a Disney fan. This could be the work of that evil Bob Cheapskate. Oh, I mean Chapek. A good friend of mine, if you guys get a minute, check him out on Instagram. He is Disneyland Nurse, and he uh, conveniently compiled all of the recent changes that have come under the watchful eye of Bob Chapek. And let's look down this long list, starting with the removal, and don't get me started, on the free fast pass system, initiating the Genie and the Genie Plus system, having to pay for fast passes. I made a video about it right here. I'll put a link to it. Also including this closure of several Disney stores all over the country. No more Magical Express at Disney World starting January 1st. No more free magic bands. No more magic hours at either Disney park in the United States. Lightning lanes where you can pay extra $20 extra per person per ride 
to go on those rides. And woo! $250 for special after hours Disney events that only last up to five hours. Dang! So I know some of you guys are wondering out there, can you travel home with these and how do the airlines feel about them? They totally don't care. <laughs> so Landon and I actually, Landon Sidious and I, we brought two sabers with me that were lighter that we actually put on our hips, like the Luke Skywalker and the Darth Maul original saber are only like 1.3 pounds each. So they're much easier to carry around and bring with you. And then we actually did the Savi's workshop. So here's a picture right here I put in one of the airports. I taped four bags together, right through security, no problem. And I just threw them boop, right up in the storage bins up above the seats, no problems. So I really hope that these come back to the park soon, especially for all you Star Wars fans out there who might've been waiting a really long time to have your first Savi's workshop experience. Again, leave a comment down below and tell me what you think about this. Do you think they'll be coming back or do you think maybe this is just a delay in the shipment? But thank you for watching to the end of the video. This is Obi Dad Kenobi signing off, wishing you guys an awesome Star Wars. Oh, I can't use green. That's better. Wishing you guys an awesome Star Wars Day. Yeah. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Wow.